And just like that, even though the second batch of episodes did all in its power to give us the impression that it might all be coming to an emotional end, season 3 is officially hailing a yellow taxi into our life. We are overjoyed that Carrie Bradshaw, Miranda Hobbs, and Charlotte York Goldenblatt will be on our screens for at least one more season of the show we all love to hate. They will be sipping cocktails, lamenting their annoying kids, and sporting clothes that very few of us could ever afford. We do, however, wish that Samantha Jones' appearance in the season 2 finale had brought the four of them back permanently. Now that the second season of the show has concluded, we're sobbing into our cosmopolitans. Here's all you need to know about and just like that, season 3 if, like us, you can't wait for your next throwback hit with your best friends. And just like that season 3 potential release date, when will we get more episodes? Given that the second season finale aired on August 24th, it's probable that we won't hear anything official about the launch date of the third season for some time. Truly depressing times. However, and just like that, didn't keep us in suspense regarding the renewal for season 3, revealing the news just a few days before the conclusion of season 2. Showrunner Michael Patrick King sent out a statement that had WhatsApp groups aflutter throughout the globe. We are thrilled to spend more time in the Sex and the City universe telling new stories about the lives of these relatable and aspirational characters played by these amazing actors, King said. The season 2 premiered in June 2023, just over a year after the season 1 ending in February 2022. However, because of the ongoing actor's strike, it is difficult to estimate how long the wait will be this time around because filming cannot start until the strike is completed. Regarding the Sex and the City Universe building, which has so far included two successful HBO series and two major motion pictures, as well as its future developments, the executive Michael Patrick King stated in a Forbes interview. It is a miniature version of the Marvel Universe that continuously expanding its multiverse. Really, it's a miracle. A series that lasts more than two seasons is a rare find. It's incredible to work on a character group for more than 25 years, and it's unusual to have the same actor portray the same roles. It's astounding. And just like that season 3 cast, which characters will be back? Kim Cattrall's character Samantha Jones is unlikely to make any more appearances on screen beyond a fleeting cameo. Patrick King acknowledged the uniqueness of the occasion while emphasizing how unique it was. He stated, Kim appeared out of nowhere and said, I'll play Samantha for you for this little, sweet treat. Thus, it's possible that it has to do with the wonderful memories for the 25th. I think it's a wonderful treat for the supporters. But Samantha will probably still be around, whether it's through the occasional text message to carry your old pictures in Charlotte's closet. We anticipate seeing the remaining four members of our core cast return in the upcoming season, even though nothing about the season three cast has been formally confirmed as of yet. After all, without Miranda with her tough attitude, Carrie and her ever-expanding shoe collection, or Charlotte and her occasionally snarky monologues, would SATC really exist? We suppose we could take another exit, please, because we still get that Samantha Hole whenever the girls come together. Given the peculiar five-year interval that was introduced in his and Carrie's relationship in the season two finale, Aiden Shaw might or might not return. The time frame, the point at which season three picks up, and whether or not they can last that long without splitting up will probably determine whether or not he returns in later episodes. He assured them that nothing negative would occur after they made a vow to one another. It wasn't a farewell. It was a see you later moment. At the end, they remained extremely much attached, King said in a Variety interview. It was sad the way they performed it. They had that entire night where they laughed, wept, made love, and did anything they pleased. And they were still very much alive. However, it concluded with a somewhat mature realization of where we are. David Eisenberg's character Steve Brady is a little uncertain about his future after starting a new business in Kenai Island. Having said that, he does leave the door open somewhat because of his profound and meaningful conversation with Miranda on the pier, during which she extended an olive branch and stated that she desired his presence in her life, but as companions only. At this time, Anthony and Harry Goldenblood are merely pieces of furniture. We also wish to follow Anthony's Italian boyfriend's progress. We're completely engrossed in Lisa Todd Wexley's documentary series, and Seema Patel has quickly become a favorite, along with her cherished Birkin bag. We also hope that Dr. Naya Wallace, Miranda's short-lived roommate, will have more to do in Season 3 following last scenes in Season 2 due to scheduling difficulties. Things can only get better for her with a Michelin-starred chef in her life and a noteworthy professional accomplishment, and we want to celebrate that. Assuming Lisa and Herbert's one-episode summer camp decides to continue into the year, we assume all the kids, including Brady Hobbs, Lily Goldenblatt, and Rock Goldenblatt, will return as well. And just like that Season 3 trailer, where can I watch it? Sadly, we must not get ahead of ourselves too much. Before any video of the upcoming episodes becomes accessible, we will need to wait until much closer to the time. Nevertheless, we're confident that shooting photos will notify us of any significant upcoming plot points. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more.